Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add Google Fonts to your website using the Easy Google Font plugin. And with it, apply for certain fonts to certain tags using the WordPress customizer. It's really cool how it works and it's really simple. And let's get right into it. So first, we're going to have to install the plugin. I'm in the dashboard here. I'm just going to go over to plugins and then add new. In the search bar, I'm going to type in Easy Google Fonts. This is when we want the first one here with 300,000 active installs. There are a bunch of others and you're fine to try those out, but the one for this tutorial and the one that I've used before and that I really like is this one right here. And I'm gonna click on install now. Then I'm gonna click on activate. And now that plugin is ready to rock and roll. And what it did was in the settings menu, it added a menu item called Google Fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And on this page is where we set the font controls. This is a strange way of saying we set the CSS selectors that the fonts would be applied to. I'm just going to set paragraph as one, just so we have an example to work with. So I'm going to put in paragraph for the control name. That's just a descriptive name so that I know what, that, what this control is for. And then we add the CSS selectors that that font style will be applied to. So it, because this is a paragraph, it's going to be applied to the P tag. I'm going to type the letter P and then hit tab. And it adds it in a box so you can then X out if you want to. I usually check the four styles override because I don't like to fight with the theme styles and this, this avoids a lot of that fighting. And I'm gonna set those two and click on save font control. And now that we have this installed, it says here paragraph has been updated, please visit the customizer to manage this control. We're gonna do that in just a second. First, we're gonna check out these other tabs up here. So the first one is manage font controls. So the font controls that you create you can then see them in here. You can edit them and delete them. We're gonna delete a couple or add a couple more as we go. So you'll see what we can do in here later. And we're gonna click on the advanced tab now. And over here, we can add the Google Fonts API key. And what this is for is if there's a new Google Font added to the Google Font library, if you have the API key installed, your website will be automatically updated with that new font. So I'm just gonna install this right now. You can follow along as I go. So I'm just gonna open a new tab here and type in Google Font API key. I'm gonna click on this first result here. And if we scroll down a little bit, there's gonna be a get a key button. I'm gonna click on that. So here we're gonna select, either select a project or create a new one. I'm gonna click on create new project. Give this project a name, call it WP PhD, click on create and enable. And then after a few moments, we have our beautiful new API key. We can copy or we can highlight it and copy it or we can click on this little icon here to copy it to our clipboard. And we go back to our website and we paste it in here and we click on save Google API key. And now that's saved in there. Google IP is valid and automatic font updates are enabled. So it's super easy to add that API key in there. So I suggest you do that if you want to use this plugin to its full potential. And if you recall, we created the control for the paragraph tag. So we're gonna see what that means right now. If we go to appearance and then customize, we'll open the WordPress customizer. So if we click on typography and then theme typography, we'll see the control group we just created and hopefully this page has some text, which mine does here. We've got this nice little paragraph or a couple paragraphs. And then this edit font dropdown is what's been added by the plugin. Now if we click that dropdown, we have a lot of options. So we can set the script or the subset, which there's a lot of different subsets. And if you can select a specific one or your font package will include all of them. And the font family, we can pick a lot of font families you pick any one and you can see the text on the right hand side update immediately to that font style. And you can go through and, and pick the one you want and just, yeah, pick the one you want. Font weight, if that font family has a font weight option, there, there, there'll be one here. Most of them are just regular. Some of them have italics and bold as well. Text decoration, you can choose what you want there. Text transform, you can choose what you want. And then under appearance, you can do things like set the font color. I set mine to this nice blue. You can set a background color, maybe a 
a light gray. You can change the font size. You can change the line height. You can change the letter spacing. You can do a lot of stuff. And positioning, you can change the margins, top, bottom, left, right, whatever you want. You can change the padding, same way. You can add a border, border radius, and display either block or inline block. So that was the paragraph font. Okay, that's great, we got a paragraph. But what if you wanna change this homepage right here? Or what if you wanna change, uh, let's say the, the footer text or this text down here? What we have to do is figure out what CSS selectors apply to those. So if we right click on this and click on inspect, we see it's a heading class, H2. Now if we go, we can either go back to our, there's two different ways to do this. So if we go back to our default typography, we actually have headings in here. So if we have a heading two right here, we can just pick the font family for heading two and we see it updating as I choose different ones. So you can do it that way. Or if, you d if it's not one of these default ones, we go back out of here and then we go back and we create a new font control by clicking this link. And I'm gonna call it heading two for this example. And then I put the CSS selector in here. Now you might have found a different one. Maybe the, your CSS selector was entry title. So you type that in and then tab over. Or maybe it was uh, body underline text. Who knows, whatever that inspector turns up for the class or the ID is what you type in here. I always check this box and I click on save. The fact that I added these doesn't really matter. It will actually, um, all the, the settings we now do in the customizer will apply to all three of these selectors and I just made up those two, so it doesn't even matter. But if you want the same font settings to apply to multiple selectors, you just add them in the line here. It's that easy. Go back to the customizer. And now if we go back to typography and then theme typography, we see we now have heading two enabled. And heading two is this one right here. We pick different fonts. As you can see, the fonts are changing as you go. And we have all the same options that we had with the paragraphs. And that's how easy it is to use the easy Google font plugin. And the great thing is we have the API installed. So as new fonts become available, they're instantly available on your website, which is pretty sweet. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com for more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.